You're watching the 2023-24 SCAC Women's Basketball Media Day. Today we're taking a look at the Shriner University Women's Basketball Program. The Mountaineers will be led once again as they head into the season of the guy at the head coach, Stacey Stevens, along with the leadership from junior guard Demaria Miles. Coach Demaria, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Coach, uh, heading into your third season there as the head women's basketball coach at Shriner, a ton of success in your opening two seasons. What did you learn uh, over the course of those first two years with this program as you got accl acclimated with this group uh, that, that gives you confidence uh, and excitement going into to year three here? You know, I think the thing I'm most excited about is the number of people who know what I expect and what I want day in, day out on the court. Um, they know what I want and what I expect off the court as well. And I think that having that maturity and that growth and the number of people who really have bought into the program is what I'm most excited about. And then I'm, I'm really excited about the freshman class as well, because they recruited here to fit our style of play, to fit our program. And uh, I think it's just going to be a really great mixture. Um, I think we're going to, you know, keep learning and growing. And that's what I tell the girls all the time. As long as we're growing and getting better, we can handle about everything that comes our way. Demaria, coming into your junior season, uh, an absolute monster splash your first couple of years there in Kerrville, uh, really from day one, making an impact on the floor. But now coming into to your junior season, and Coach talked about she loves that people understand what's expected on a day-in, day-out basis, on and off the floor. You know, how do you see your role change coming into this season, first year as an upperclassman, and, and where's the hunger with this group coming off of, of such an exciting season? I would, I would imagine you're chomping at the bit, ready to rock and roll. Um, looking looking over my freshman year and sophomore year, I definitely seen a lot of improvement in me, um, my game, my uh, me going through like the motions of getting through, like my shooting, my uh, game ethic, my defense. Um, I definitely seen a lot of improvement, and I want to get better. Coach, uh, you've established such an incredible baseline through these first two seasons. You're coming off the season last year in which this team advanced to the SBAZ tournament semifinals for the first time since 2017, and the wins have, have piled up uh, with the hard work that this group has put in. What, what's the message this year to the team? I would imagine those first couple of years, you're getting to know the team. You're kind of just trying to establish that baseline. And now, because of the hard work, because of the effort that you and your team has put in, uh, I, I'm sure the, the mindset and the goals are even bigger. So what's the message to this group as you try to continue to take those steps forward uh, with this program? Right. We we talk a lot about our goals and what we want to achieve. And we talk about a lot about the work that it will take to get to those points. And uh, we have a lot of conversation about making sure we're seeing the small steps in between and not just the big steps. Um, we want basically, again, for our team to grow, our team to mature, our team to learn how to play basketball together, and our our team to just really understand that if we as a team stick together, play together, then there's, you know, a lot of good can happen from those situations. Um, I think the biggest, most important thing that we really push is that we need to have consistency day in and day out, um, that we're not going to sneak up on anybody this year and that we have to be ready to work hard every day, no matter what, no matter how we feel, and just really bring that intensity to everything we do on the court. Tamara, you're coming off a sophomore campaign, which you're in all SCAC honors. You led the league with 17 points per game. You were second in the SCAC from deep, uh, hitting over 43% of your three-point field goals a year ago. What have you worked on from a basketball standpoint individually that continues to grow your confidence and that you're excited about coming into your junior year? Um, I mainly focused on my ball handling, my footwork, my shooting, because the previous years, a lot of the teams know what I can do. So I'm trying to like switch it up on them, do something new to throw them off a little bit. Coach, offensively, this team's been very consistent the last couple of years and, and a big part, obviously, due to, to the to the woman sitting right next to you. But, uh, you know, last season, one of just three teams averaging over 70 points per game. You were second uh, from a team perspective in terms of three point field goal percentage, nearly 32 uh, percent on the night. Uh, tonight basis. Oh, offensively, how do you continue to grow, keep making those steps? What are you working on trying to implement early on in this year that will, you know, just add to the the strengths that you had a season ago? Um, I think the one of the key things we really spend a lot of time on is honest conversation on where improvement needs to go for the next season. And I think over the summer, uh, all the returners have been in the gym. They've made improvements on their games. I'm really excited to see what the freshman class from last year, this they'll be sophomores this year, how they grown and have improved their game in the game situation. So I'm really excited about that. Um, but I, I really think one of the best things we do is we spend 
you know, 20, 30 minutes in every practice just shooting. And we shoot game speed and we get lots of shots up. And we spend a lot of time talking about what is a good shot, what's a great shot. And, you know, I don't really stop anybody from shooting. We just have a few rules that how people can shoot in certain situations. Um, but I want my team to have the confidence to know that we've put in the work and, you know, let it fly. You know, it, it's going to it's going to land a lot more than we then you're going to miss on it just because you have the confidence behind it. So I think that's one of the things we do really well here is we put in a lot of extra work on getting those shots up. Tamaria, coming into this year, especially off the success of last season, and when you've had conversations with some of the other leaders on this team about some of the goals for this group, what have those conversations looked like and what will be key in order for this team to accomplish those heading into the year? Um, well, first off, I'm really excited for this year. I believe we're going to have a lot of improvement. I'm going to do good. We have some returners um, coming up, stepping up their game, doing what they need to do in order in order to help us. And just me learning how to learn the qualities, key qualities of uh, being a leader and stepping up and doing everything I can to continue to improve. And finally, Coach, wrapping things up with you, success obviously measured in so many different forms and ways. When you talk about success with your program, what does that message look like from you? And, uh, you know, whether it's on the floor, off the floor, how do you try to, to quantify that success? And what will be key for this team to try and achieving that heading into this year? Well, that's a, a fun question because I actually on recruiting visits will tell every kid who comes on the campus. I, I tell them that success for me is graduation pictures up on the wall and and winning games. OK, that's that's what we really want to do. And right now we are in the stage of we want to win games and we want to keep adding more to it and more to it. Um, but we're getting really close to wanting to start talking about championships and things like that. But we we know that it's going to take steps and processes. And as I said earlier, it's going to take a lot of consistency and, and that continuous growth. So when we talk about success here, we talk about meeting small goals within every practice, about meeting goals within every game and how they add up to success on the court with wins and hopefully one day championships as well. Um, but I will say this, that I am really impressed with all the girls on the team, especially Mari here. Um, number one, Mari has really found her voice. I don't know if you know her very well, but she's very soft spoken and she's, this is the most she's probably ever talked <laughs> at one sitting. Um, but no, she's really coming around as a leader. Um, we have Naraya Bugs coming back off of her injury. We're excited about her. We have Sky Thomas and uh, Casey Willis coming back as seniors. And we're, we're excited about everybody in the program and seeing how they're going to step up and, and move the, the needle, as we like to talk about. We just want to move that needle a little bit more every day. We want to get a little bit better. And, you know, at the end of the day, success will be we put everything we could into it and we can walk away with our head high knowing we did everything we could to win as many games as we could this year while also putting those graduation pictures up on the wall. The Shrine University Mountaineers, again, the women's basketball program heads into the season under the guidance of head coach Stacey Stevens, along with the leadership from junior Demaria Miles. The Mountaineers will open up the 2023-24 campaign when they take on McMurray on the road November 10th. Coach Demaria, thanks so much for your time and best of luck as you head into the year. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you.